Good afternoon. I'm Gassia Mikaelian. I'm Andre Sr. We begin with a developing story of a violent break in at the home of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Officers responded to an emergency call at that home on Broadway near Normandy Terrace in the city's Pacific Heights neighborhood in the middle of the night. Police say the intruder attacked Speaker Pelosi's 82 year old husband, Paul. We'll bring in KTV's Ali Rasmus. You've been at the scene covering the story throughout the morning hours. She's live now with what police have to say about the attack, Ali. Well, 42-year-old David DePepe is the man identified by San Francisco police as the attacker in this case. In the last 90 minutes, San Francisco's police chief and the city's district attorney announced that DePepe will face charges of elder abuse, attempted homicide, and assault with a deadly weapon for this attack that happened in the middle of the night on 82-year-old Paul Pelosi, the husband of U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Now, behind us is the home that they shared. The House Speaker was not at home at the time when this happened. This all happened around 2.30 this morning, and that's when DePepe is accused of breaking in to the home. Aerial video shows a broken glass door in the back of the home. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, again, not there at the time she was in Washington, D.C. when this all happened. But law enforcement sources told the Associated Press that DePepe went into the home shouting, where's Nancy? Somehow, police were notified about the break-in within minutes. We don't know how, whether it was a security alarm that alerted police or someone inside the home that called them. But police arrived within minutes of the attack. And here's what Police Chief Bill Scott says happened next. Our officers observed Mr. Pelosi and the suspect both holding a hammer. The suspect pulled the hammer away from Ms. Pelosi and violently assaulted him with it. Our officers immediately tackled the suspect, disarmed him, took him into custody, requested emergency backup, and rendered medical aid. The suspect has been identified. Police did not answer any questions after this very short briefing this morning. The chief only spoke for a few minutes. The motive for this attack is still being determined, but police say this was not random, that the suspect in this case knew this was the home of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and her family and specifically targeted it. Even so, it's all very disturbing to neighbors who live on this street. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to hear that anyone's attacked at all, much less you know, Paul Pelosi, I mean, you know, that's horrible. He didn't sign up um, to be uh, threatened and then bludgeoned. Um, I, I'm, I'm beyond um, apoplectic about this. Congresswoman Jackie Spear from the Peninsula told KTVU that Paul Pelosi is undergoing surgery for injuries to his arm and shoulder. He is expected to make a full recovery. Capitol Police provide extra security for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, but that additional security is not afforded to other members of her family if she is not with them at the time. And again, she's in Washington, D.C. when this happened. Her husband was here in San Francisco. Now, after this attack, an ambulance took Paul Pelosi to the hospital. A second ambulance was also called to take the suspected attacker. David DePepe to the hospital. We don't have any details from police on the extent of his injuries. We do know, though, that San Francisco police are the lead agency here investigating this break in and this attack, but they are also getting a lot of help from U.S. Capitol Police, which also have investigators here, as well as the FBI. We'll continue to have more coverage on this developing story throughout the day and online at KTVU.com. Gracia and Andre, back to you. Ali, when you spoke with neighbors, did any of them say that there had been any unusual activity or perhaps in any way? Way. Was this person known to them previous to this morning's attack? Well, a lot of neighbors didn't want to speak, the, but the few who did uh, stop briefly and talk to us off camera, on camera, as in the case of that one woman we mentioned, uh, uh, that they all said that they didn't notice anything uh, unusual. They didn't hear anything. They didn't hear any commotion. And as one neighbor told us, you know, the Pelosi's are rarely even there, she said. So she's never noticed any sort of issue here before in the past. All right. Now, the Rasmus live in Pacific Heights. Thank you.